Hi, my name's Luke, and I'm the Artistic Director here at Melbourne Masterclasses. I began playing the cello when I was 12 years old. Funnily enough, I had been a ballet dancer up until that point, well, since I was four years old. And I unfortunately got very sick. So I went from doing 15 hours of ballet training a week to barely being able to stand up, which is funnily enough how I ended up playing the cello. I wanted something that I could do and work on by myself, um, quietly at my own pace. And you don't have to stand up while you play the cello. So the rest, as they say, is history. This is a funny question purely because I'm not sure that I have an answer to it. Specifically, the why I became a musician, I don't really know. It's more something that happened to me rather than a choice I made. I am extremely happy playing music and I'm even happier getting to share it with other people. So it seemed like a fairly natural progression once all things came into account and I'm sitting here today. <laughs> Wow, I have so many happy musical memories. I'm not even sure that one specifically stands out more than the others. Um, but I really think the happiest I am playing music is on a daily basis through the period of rehearsal and working on things and getting better and getting to share that with people who I've become very close to. That is definitely when I am happiest. Um, so I'd probably have to say rehearsal. <laughs> Everybody who knows me knows what a fan of Joyce DiDonato I am, not just because she's an incredible singer, but because I think she exemplifies what it means to be a good and loving artist in the 21st century. Um, and she manages to combine superb artistry with incredible heart and also a really strong teaching ethic that I think is really, really valuable. And it's something that I try to emulate every day. I think one of my biggest non-musical inspirations would be Alyssa Edwards. And if you're not familiar with her work, I would highly recommend looking her up. She is a phenomenal drag queen, but is also a supremely passionate and intelligent educator. And I think somebody who manages to combine those two things is a true inspiration to me and should be a true inspiration to many. My favorite thing about music is how it makes me feel and how I can make others feel using it. The interesting thing about the way this business has unfolded is that a lot of the development of all of our programs and things like that have happened in this period of lockdown and I think the thing that I'm most excited for is when we will finally be able to get back together and make music and share it with each other in person. Um, we've got so many exciting programs lined up for the future and I sincerely hope that when we get back together it will be one of those fantastic moments where we realise just how much music was missing in our lives and how important it really is. So I'm very excited for that. Thank <laughs> you.